Today we are in Darimo, a motorcycle track somewhere in England. The track is like a big triangle, sharp corner at one end. It's way too big for me. Way, way too big. Move the seat forward 45 millimeters, up 15 millimeters, and the bottom crank is all the way back as far as it can go. But it's still too long. The bike of the day is a streamliner Russell Bridges building for Battle Mountain World Human Power Speed Challenge. It does not have any enclosing fairing yet, but it is race ready. Now we are finally going to know how fast the three slate Aquilus Suite is against the Milan SL Velomobile on the Alpha 7. They are all going to take part in the race. Here you can see the latest Milan SL next to the three sled Aquila 3. Now is the time for the slower four laps race. After the first lap, 268 Dev Grace's Ice VTX is ahead. It's followed by 166 Steve Mars Carbon and Cycle. Gerald Charwood Rat Racer is not far behind. Alan Goodman's Wind Shooter is in fourth position. Now is the time for the fast four laps race. For the first time ever, the three sled Aquila 3 of John Greed is competing against the Milan SL of Lee Wakefield. I certainly won't try to compete with them, as my aim is to win the unfair and partly fair trophy. I am launching an attack. Yeah. After a few minutes, Yoran is coming back with Velo Ads. The attack has failed. Hello 
hâte, ils ont dit attaque. The last minute, I'm launching a final attack. the points and I'm beating video ads on the line. That's right, one more left, one. The next race is a slower 45 minutes plus one lap race. the first lap, Dave Griffiths as VTX and the other Richard Woods are leading. They are followed by the unstable of Steve Marsh. The rest of the field is scattered all over the place. Alpha 7 lead is growing.
number 68 has won the race. Now is the time for the fast race number 2. 45 minutes plus one lap. I'm again attacking straight at the start. But I'm being hidden alive by John Greed's three sled Aquila 3 on Jan Squire's DF Velomobile. Other fast Velomobile follow suit. The windy, flat track seems to suit the Velomobile rather well. The Milan SL and the three sleds are battling for the second place behind Slash. Euron and his M5 low racer are not coming back. I am lapping John Lucian and his Pelso Brevet. In the end, I got the maximum points for the unfair and partly fair classification. The next day is different, as James Coxon on his very optimized ice VTX strike overpowers me in the two hours race and he drops me after one hour and 15 minutes. But unfortunately, I don't have any footage. The Trisled beats the Milan SL overall. But at the same power output, the Milan SL is faster. 